Hi friends, in this video tutorial we will learn how can we capture website screenshot from website URL by using PHP script. That means we can take website screenshot from our PHP program. Taking of web page screenshot feature has been used for many different purposes in the web application development. And there are number of third-party API are available on internet for taking screenshot from our PHP script but here we will use Google Page Speed Insights API. Now let's start learning this topic, so this is our index page and here we have use bootstrap library for styling page. First we have write HTML form with attribute method is equal to post. Under this form we have to create one text box for enter URL, so here we have write input type is equal to URL, name is equal to URL and required attribute. This input will only accept valid URL and this field is required for submit form. After this we want to make one submit button for submit form data, so we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to screenshot and value is equal to take a screenshot. When we have click on this button then form data with URL of website will be submitted and it will return screenshot of particular website. Now we have moved to write PHP code, so here we have write dollar screen short image variable is equal to blank value, under this variable will store website screen short data in base64 format. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post screenshot variable, if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar URL variable is equal to dollar post URL variable. Below this we have write dollar screenshot json data variable is equal to file get contents function and under this function we have write google page speed insights api url. In api url we have write url variable is equal to dollar url variable and screenshot is equal to true. So here we have pass form URL data into this API URL in URL variable. So by using file get contents function, it will reads file into string and return data in JSON string format which we have store under dollar screenshot JSON data variable. Below this we have write dollar screenshot result variable is equal to JSON decode function and under this function we have write dollar screenshot JSON data variable. This function will convert JSON string into PHP array and store data into screenshot result variable. So here first we have get data into JSON string and then after converted into PHP array. Now we have write dollar screenshot variable is equal to dollar screenshot result variable with screenshot index with data variable. Here we have store screenshot data into dollar screenshot variable. Now we want to replace underscore and dash to slash and plus from dollar screenshot variable. For this we have write dollar screenshot variable is equal to string replace function. 
in this function first argument array underscore and dash in second argument we have write array slash and plus and in third argument we have write dollar screenshot variable this code will replace underscore and dash character to slash and plus character from this dollar screenshot variable and store into dollar screenshot variable now we have write dollar screenshot image variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to data double colon image forward slash jpg base 64 comma dollar screenshot variable this code will display website screenshot image which we have store under dollar screenshot image variable now we want to display on web page so here we have write echo statement with dollar screenshot image variable it will display website screenshot image on web page so here our code is ready now we have check output in browser friends here we have can see when page has been loaded into browser then we can see one text box for enter url and one take a screenshot button so we have directly click on this button then we can see this field is required so here we have enter invalid url and click on button then we have received invalid url now we have enter proper youtube website url in text box and click on take a screenshot button then form data has been submitted and it take process for take screenshot after taking screenshot and page has been reloaded and it display youtube website screenshot on web page so this way we can capture any website screenshot and display on web page by using php if you have any query regarding this php video tutorial part please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also if you want to get more update regarding our php video tutorial please subscribe our youtube channel for get more update regarding release of future video lastly keep watching our youtube channel thanks for watching this video tutorial